Hello Turquoise, how are you doing? I thought I'd just come and say hi for your video. I know you guys haven't seen me in a long time, I haven't seen you, but just know that I'm missing you all very much. I hope you've had a lovely half term. I can't wait to hear about all the interesting things that you got up to. Has anyone out there been suffering with hay fever? I know I have, it's been a nightmare, but I'm just grateful for the lovely sunshine and um, yeah, yeah. I will hope you're all, all well, well and, and I look and forward I look to seeing you soon when I'm, soon able, when to. I'm able to. Bye bye, take bye care. Bye, take care, have a lovely week. week. And it's just a nice time to you know, socialize and enjoy being around others. So I enjoyed that. And I also went for some long walks. I went to the park, um, spent a little bit of time outside the house, which was nice. Um, so those are the few things that I got up to. Okay, so let's start off with a joke. Do you want to hear a construction joke? Sure. Sorry, I'm still working on it. <laughs> okay, I hope you like that one. Get into it. Let's celebrate the amazing achievements you guys did last week. So let's start off with a writing piece that was done by Dora. And here we have a set of instructions for how to make scrambled egg. Now, I really enjoyed reading this set of instructions. I thought she presented it beautifully. She even has some diagrams at the bottom um, telling you the skill level, the taste level and how fun it's actually going to be to create the scrambled eggs. All of her instructions are set out very clearly in steps and we've got the, all the equipment and ingredients that you need to make the scrambled eggs. So well done Dora, it's really easy to follow. And of course we've got Teddy's work as well about how to capture a dragon. Now I love how he started his introduction with some questions that really hooks and engages the reader. Are you scared of dragons? Follow his instructions to capture a dragon. Okay, he's getting me excited. I want to find out more about how I can capture a dragon. Again, Teddy's told me all of the equipment I'm going to need and he's clearly labelled the steps in a chronological order and they're very detailed and easy to follow. Well done guys for your instructions. So for reading this week, I was sent in a range of work. Okay, let's start off with Rima's Holes Words Hurt. So she took some words from the Holes book for example, Stanley, Camp Green Lake, and she's made them into a word set. See if you can spot some of those words. Okay, I'm going to move on to Dora. She made a comet strip. Uh, she's been reading How to Train Your Dragon, and she's used the knowledge from that book and turned it into a comet strip, which is really creative. Very, very cool, Dora. Okay, and finally, I don't know how Zainab was able to create such a fantastic image, but Zainab has created one of the characters from a book that she's been reading at home. It looks fantastic. Well done, girls. Take a look at some of the wonderful maths work that was sent in this week. Start off with Martha's work. She was looking at how to add fractions together with different denominators. And you can see she's grasped the idea very well and her work looks superb. Claudio at the bottom here, he was looking at how to add and subtract fractions and as well he, he understood that and his work looks beautiful. And let's finish off with Lucas at the top. He as well was looking at how to add and subtract fractions. Everyone did phenomenal this week with their maths. I was really impressed. Okay, let's move on to science. I have to say I was really impressed with all the work that was sent through uh, from the Oak National Academy website. Well done for everyone who did that. And also two people that you can see on my screen when the extra mile. I'm going to stop talking and let them do all of the talking for me. Hi everyone, today I will be doing experiment with vinegar and baking powder. So, so you will need one cup of vin vinegar, baking powder and one spoon. First I will put this vinegar. to fill it 
out of this line. We see that it's going up. And so now I put more. Can I put Oh, 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 Look, there's the big blobs falling down. Yeah. Now it's starting to settle because it's separated. So you've yeah, got the darker colour put... at the bottom and one the lighter these... colour on the top. When we put one of the tablets mm. in, then it just... Okay. Brilliant. What did you notice about both of those experiments? They have something in common. Can you figure it out? Let's move on. Now, I know lots of you have been keeping up with Joe Wicks. I know Jermaine has, um, Rayan has, Lucas, am I forgetting anyone? Dora has, has as well. And then we've got Martha, Rocky and Zainab all playing a game together where they're exercising over Zoom, I think that is. Well done, girls, for keeping in touch and keeping healthy and fit at the same time. And congratulations to Sam for reaching level 56 on Just Dance. Brilliant. Let's take a look at some of the creative, beautiful wind chimes that you have made. OK, we've got Alicia's wind chime on the left. She's used recycled bottle tops and some sticks from outside and some string. And she's constructed her wind chime. I have to say it looks beautiful and Dora used some pipes and some string and attached it to a flower pot that you can see in her first picture there and then after she made her wind chime she decided to deconstruct it and make an instrument instead okay now Dora had a wonderful time playing her instrument well done a really creative thing to do well done to those of you who took on the challenge this week it was the number challenge sorry the number game challenge with santander and twinkle now they put together the videos um which incorporated football and learning to do math skills at the same time now i've been sent in pictures from alicia brocky zainab and they enjoyed doing the challenge so well done girls Okay, let's talk about the Spanish work that you did this week. Miss Chapella was really impressed with Alicia and Zainab and the conversations that they wrote between the characters. Well done, girls, for creating your own conversations in Spanish. Okay, let's move on to technology. I have to say, I was sent in lots of Scratch movies this week. So what I'm actually going to do is create a separate video where I can put together all the movies that you've created. Um, but I'll just show some still images from what I've been sent in. So Lucas, he has his bowl of cheese puffs and he made an animation for it to say hello. And Dora created an animation with two rabbits. And one of the rabbits got really upset. He was shocked and then they both started crying. But then the rabbits were able to console each other and everything turned out to be OK in the end. Thank you for your creativity and for the animations that you've made. Let's move on to see what you've been up to during the week. 
Okay, Jake sent in an update of the plant he planted last week with his sister. You can see it's started to grow, and that was sunflower seeds that he put in there, so they're growing really nicely. Brocky planted some cress, and that was really successful. Um, she ate it, and she said it tasted delicious. Okay, and we've got Dora, an update with Dora's plants as well. They're growing really nicely. Well done, guys. We've got some great gardeners within our class. So here's an example of some of the creative arts and crafts you guys have been doing at home. Um, we'll start off with Dora's dollhouse that she's made using bits of cardboard and paper and plastic. And you can see there's lots of detail within there. You've got the bed and the books, magazines they've been reading. Well done, Dora. Really, really creative. And of course, on the right hand side, we've got some animals that have been made by Jake using egg box, egg box cartons. That was a bit of a mouthful. So he's managed to create a mouse and an owl and they look really cute. Well done, Jake. You can see here that Lucas has been enjoying reading. That's helped to, him to relax and enjoy his time at home. He's been reading Mars Ultimate Adventure. I hope you've been enjoying reading your book, Lucas. Rocky's been playing cricket. Uh, it's always fun to play sports if you can. Good way to keep fit and um, healthy as well. And Jake and his sister have been going out for walks together. Is that your cat? I can see there. It's very sweet. Um, and I hope you enjoy taking your walks together. Finally, let's look at some of the tasty treats that you have been making and eating over the week. You can see Alicia also had a barbecue at home and she's got some sweet corn on the barbecue. I bet that tasted delicious. And as well, she had a nice treat to go after it with her dessert at the side. And Rocky did some baking at home. Looks like she made some scones. I hope you enjoyed making them and I hope they taste delicious as well. Well, that brings us to the end of our week five summary. I hope you all had a wonderful half term and you you're feeling refreshed and ready to restart our online learning again. I'll leave you with a little message that was completed by Alicia. Please, as much as you can, stay at home and keep yourselves safe. Okay, take care and have a wonderful week. Bye bye.